What's up guys, my name is Jess. We're gonna be going over the perfect support pal. This really just stems from the two passives of discounts in addition to buying power, which is from Fine Furs and Noble, plus the Vanguard and Stronghold Security, or Strategist, whatever it's called. You slot them onto a Gobfin, because Gobfin has the innate partner skill where they increase the player attack. So this way, you get best of three worlds, okay? And don't get me wrong, there are other plenty of good, I don't know, support uh, passive, so to speak, like, but they don't, they don't apply directly to the player, uh, that benefits them in such a way that these four passives do, right? There's the mining one, there's the uh, logging one, but they, they, they're not good for this scenario, okay? You whip out the gobfins, so you can take down bosses with these, and then you whip them out whenever you wanna, you know, buy stuff, sell stuff, and whatnot. You get a discount in addition to selling stuff, which is uh, uh, more money when you sell stuff. So that's the best part about it, right? So the strat here is you just spam, 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 catch gobfins, okay? You want to catch an abundance of them so that you have a higher chance at receiving, all right, certain pals that have the stats that you want. Right here, we got Vanguard. Solo or Vanguard? You want every single one of these pals to be solo. If you have a Yakumo and you slot on the stats, or sorry, the passives previously before you catch them, then by all means go for it. But because I haven't, I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way. We are spam, spamming out the Gobfin, okay? And then we are going to be getting ourselves the st Stronghold Strategist in addition to Vanguard at the bare minimum, okay? Then we slot on the discounts, okay? There's discounts and buying power, whatever it's called. So this one is Stronghold Strategist Solo, okay? Solo means the passive by itself. Put it in a little area where you will remember, okay? Right now we are fishing through all of these. And then we find ourselves to find furs, and then we'll find Noble down the line somewhere. And boom, we got it. Take note of the gender. This is a male. Um, soon it will be a noble, eh, very soon, um, but regardless, you see how much we have, we are going to be condensing all five of them so that we have a 40% increase on our buying power, right? And then, um, fully condensed gobfins raise our player attack instead of being each individual one representing a 10% player boost on the attack to 20%. So 20% times 5 gives us 100% player bonus on our attack power. And then our Vanguard gives us 10% on the attack. Therefore, we get an additional 50% attack power. Okay? So that's 150% attack power to our own personal player attack. And it's huge. But let's get back into the breeding part of this. We are isolating all of the passives to make sure that we have um, genders for all of them, obviously, right? So we have uh, Vanguard, female, male, whatever. And here we're gonna slot in all the extra, you know, what are they called? The Gobfins into the viewing cages. These are unlocked early, so, you know, if you have a lot of room in your power box, then by all means, but because I don't, then I slot in more and more of them. And here we finally found Noble. I don't know how I skipped over this, but yeah, so we got it. I labeled a discount M. M stands for male. This way I can look at the gender before I... So I don't have to, you know, look at the passives and look up at the top of the bar for gender and whatnot. So here, I'm just gonna, you know, showcase. If you don't have enough room, you just gotta make some room, alright? Boom, we made the floor, we made the elevator extension, and then we're gonna fix up the stairs a bit. And this is just gonna go on for like another 10-20 seconds. Um, I just wanted to include it just to show that, you know, I'm just like everyone else. Um, we're all just regular players, and we all gotta improve on our um, scenarios. Right, so I'm making- I'm fixing my stairs so that they look a little neater. So it's an X formation, like elevator- oh, sorry, escalators. And I'm gonna be doing this for all the floors. Just gonna go on for another like 10 seconds. Here's the next floor, blah, 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 and um, it looks nicer too. So, yeah, now we are going to keep on putting them into the cages and whatnot. I'm going to actually build more cages. Oh, sorry, my bad. I'm going to be building 
anti-lag formation walls. You know what that is? It's literally this. Apparently, the ingot, 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 um, the metal structures cause a lot less lag than the stone and especially the glass. I made the horrible decision to make my base out of glass. Even though it looks very beautiful, it lags to no end. I literally get like 4 FPS when I have these viewing cages maxed out. You know, the majority of this is just um, max out your gob fins, okay? Five, uh, sorry, four stole all of them, 116 pals each. Okay, we're gonna show you guys right now how to slot them into the breeding cage. Look at the genders. It doesn't matter because all four of the passes are gonna be going onto one pal. So regardless of which one you slot on into the breeding cage, as long as it's a male and female with one of the four passives, then you you know it's gonna pop out a pal that has the conjoined two passives, right? And then you keep on adding the passive, keep on adding the passive so that it has all four of them, okay? And we're just gonna be spamming it out. We're about halfway through the video, I think, maybe, yeah, give or take. So, you know, you don't really need to keep watching um, towards the end I'm just gonna say it right now um, you have access oh you can see the discount prices and whatnot you kind of showed it in the in the beginning but you can just keep watching if you want um, just with some quality life purposes and whatnot but yeah more viewing cages slot in more and more I don't remember how many uh, each cage slots let's see one two three four five Six times six equals thirty-six plus four equals forty. So each cage represents forty slots available. So you're gonna need like three cages per fully ascended pal because it takes one hundred and sixteen pals to fully ascend. And you know, here's the kicker: if you don't have access to like I don't know six hundred spheres to catch these gobfins to fully ascend them, then uh. You don't even have to fully ascend them. You you fully ascend them for the player attack bonus, right? Instead of getting 50, you now get 100% bonus, right? So here we're hatching the eggs, and let's see if we get something that has a conjoined passive, so to speak. You see this one? This one has Vanguard and Noble. Boom! Okay, there's a solo. We don't. We're not looking for the solo though. We're looking for the double. Okay. Keep combining until you have four passives and one pal. Okay, it's gonna take a while. I, I will say it, it will take quite a while. I think I hatched maybe 60 to get five fully, um, you know, fully uh, all four passives on. I think actually it was like a hundred. Oh, uh, no, I, ha I caught a hundred of them. Yeah, yeah, I did hatch a hundred eggs. Yeah, that's right. And here we're sliding on male and female into them. You, I, I like to guarantee the chances of them actually getting into the breeding pen by personally putting them in there and you see we have male female male female that's how it's supposed to go and then eventually you're gonna get all four this one we didn't because we had muscle head it looked like it i know but it wasn't and here we see the lag yep that's about two fps and we're adding on so we can get one fps pretty bad but we're gonna keep on hatching here we go boom do you see that all four it happened it can happen to me, it can happen to you, and it did happen to me, so it should technically happen to you as long as you know, keep on brute forcing the breed, and you just keep on adding the passives, adding the passive, adding the passive, as in breeding the pals again, and again, and again, and therefore, you get all four. Now I like to personally label them specific titles, specific names, in addition to favoriting them, this way I'm not gonna accidentally ascend them into a new pal. Right. Here we're gonna use, add in the condenser because I have so many materials and then we're just gonna start ascending or rather condensing. I like to use the word ascending because essentially you are ascending from one star to two stars to three to four to five to six whatever and I'm gonna be speeding this up a bit um, but yeah you have made it to the almost 10 minute mark which is pretty good um, but yeah you see how uh, how simple it is. Look at this FPS. I'm regaining my FPS. Thank the PAL world devs. Anyways, up oh, there it is again. And we're back at negative FPS. Beautiful.
So we are going to condense them yet again. And it takes a quite a long time, I will say. And I don't know why, but these clicks are not registering. Okay, it might be because of my lack of proper FPS. But I will also say that doing this is so, so satisfying when you're ascending them or condensing them. I don't know. I, can I just say condensing? Oh, sorry, ascending. Now watch this. I love taking them out of the cage. The clicks here are so satisfying. But when I'm putting them into the condenser... It is not satisfying. You know, it's weird. And here comes the FPS. Yay! So yeah, this is uh, this is pretty much what you're going to be doing for every single one of the PALs. All five of them. Yeah, it, it, it's very repetitive. What I would actually recommend while you're waiting for the PALs to breed is to do some dungeons for future raids. Because the, the raid bosses are really fun to use. They're, they're very unique and whatnot. And boom! Look at that! We got it! We finally ascended our first one. Right? It gives us 20% player attack. Okay, for each one at maxed uh, condensation. Woo! I'm still going. The clicks are happening. You don't hear me clicking though, thank goodness, because I muted myself. And the lag is back. Yeah. I will say, Gobfins look really goofy. They look, they look so badass, right? Cause they got that weird scar on their head, but then they look so goofy too. Mmm, the lag is gone. Woohoo! Ah, uh, okay. And actually, I'm pretty happy that I actually did this video because I finally got to finishing this base. Kind of. I I'm missing a wall on this on this floor. I'm missing a wall on the opposite side of this uh of this wall. But um, yeah, we're about to finish up our I think second one or third one. Yeah, so we finish our second one, and then we're gonna just put them back in, so that we can go hatch, or not hatch, so we can go catch some more. Yeah, we are just gonna hatch some more. We're gonna hatch the last three, because we just finished doing our first two. And, um, yeah. Goblins are probably the easiest things to literally, um, catch, honestly. Did you guys see me spamming it? Like, spamming the balls? Dude, once you get like a good farm going, you don't even need the legendary spears. I just use them because it's a guarantee 100%. These guys are so low level uh, for legendary spears to to uh, give me a 100% chance, right? And now I'm labeling them support 4, support 3, support 2, support 1, support 5. This way I know that they are 1 of 5, 2 of 5, 3 of 5, 4 of 5, 5 of 5, you know? And um... Yeah, just gonna finish breeding them all, or sorry, not breeding, uh, condensing them all, ascending them all, whatever. And eventually, when you get so many of them, the ones that you hatch, you can, uh, if there's an alpha, you can just send it through the conveyor belt, or you can just butcher it. Um, but yeah, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. And look at this lag, it's actually insane. I am lagging so hard, guess what I'm gonna do? Reset the client! Reset. Look at this, it's clean again! Except for that weird frame rate drop, I don't know. And I love the homing launcher. And then look at this. While the balls catch them, my power box gets full and then I just leave a line. A trail of captured pals. It's actually crazy. Um, but yeah. And we're just about almost done, actually. We're a few minutes off of the finishing the video. And, um, I'm actually pretty excited. Now, would I actually use these gobfins in, uh, bossing raids? Not really. Uh, oh, yes, actually, I do- I would use these during the Blasma Ryu Ultra. Because that boss is a pain. Oh my god, not only do I have like negative frame rate, but my pals get like one shot. It's actually pretty like, crazy. Even if they have like burly body. Like some of them have burly body, which gives 20% more defense on the as a passive. They're supposed to be pretty tanky with legend and burly body with 40% overall defense. But no, they still get one shot. So, um, yeah. Well, they don't really get one shot, but they do take a beating, I will say. And if I don't like preemptively give them proper food because I don't I will really, I, I literally don't I just I put cake in there in the food uh, box for them to <laughs> eat after every single raid 
or whenever they get hungry. Um, so I don't have to personally do it, because it's really annoying. Um, and tedious, for that matter. But yeah, okay, here we go. Let's look at the stats. Boom, one, two, three, four, five, fully condensed gob fins. We're at a 150% pal skill effect on our, um, attack. Right? Now we're gonna take a look at what we get in the wares, right? So we can sell things at a higher rate. Okay, but then we don't get any rate when we don't have the fine furs. Right now, I unslotted all my gobfins and I got nothing, and it's at a flat 45.20. Alright, and that's it. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace!